Okay. So LeBron, pretty clear about not wanting to waste the years of somebody's prime. Zach, th there's been so much talk, right, about the two Lakers picks, Rob Polenka wanting to wait until Thanksgiving to assess where this team's roster is at before potentially making any moves. But we're at that time of year. The turkey, I can smell it. We're less than a week away. What is your assessment here? Don't think I'm going to ignore the slander <laughs> against turkey that was going on before the show. The okay, so food. now you're just throwing isn't. turkey into it's our, into our dialogue. Look, it, Thanksgiving is here. The Lakers are bad. And they need to be something other than bad to justify trading those picks. Those are really, really valuable assets. And it's easy to say, trade them, trade them, trade them, trade them. What's the deal? What's the trade? Name me the trade that turns this team with the worst offense in the league. Already injuries have been a problem for their best players. With the worst three-point shooting in the league. Into a title contender. Because other than that, you don't trade those picks because it sounds good now. Flash forward to 2026. The Lakers are still bad. LeBron's gone. AD's old. Whatever the case may be. And you're looking around like, oh my God, we don't have our pick? What happened to our pick? We don't have our pick for next year? What happened? Oh my God, we traded it in that deal that got us the eighth seed in 2023. It's, it's got to be very careful. But, but isn't that part of the reason, uh, Richard Jefferson was saying this on the show the other day, part of the reason why potentially LeBron James signed an extension the way that he did is to say, hey, it's okay, guys, I'm in this, but make the moves, right, Perk? Yeah, but, 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 but here's the thing, right? Like, we talking about the picks and we talking about 2026, we're in 2022, and we're talking about LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And we're talking about one of the most historical franchises in, in sports history in the Lakers who is built on solely winning championships. And so what LeBron is saying is, don't take me for granted. Mm. Don't take me for granted while I'm here. One of the best to ever put on a, a, a NBA uniform. Forget those picks when you could go and get something to win now. And look, it's nobody else's job to figure out who they're going to get in return if they happen to package up somebody in those picks. But Rob Palinka, that's why he got a, a major contract just about a month ago, right? It's to do his job. His job is to go and evaluate talent, evaluate this roster, and figure out who fits best with Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Right, there's been, there's been some silver linings here, some bright spots there, like, like Lonnie Walker's play as of recently, right? I mean, it, not... Horrible all the way. Maybe I'm just trying to find the silver. No, Lonnie Walker's been great, and they've found they're, a couple of diamonds in the roughs here and there. They're but like, three but and ten. They're three and ten. Like Perk said, okay, they're, they're about championships, right? right? And it's not our job to come up with deals. I think it is our job to come up with deals. We're going to sit here and say, Rob Polink has got to trade the picks, trade the picks, trade the picks. We're about championships. What's the deal? I haven't heard one. Buddy Heald and Miles Turner is the best one that I've heard. And the gap from three and ten to the Bucks and Celtics is bigger than Miles Turner and Buddy Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.